You right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and today I'm going to be showing you one of my attempts to win the Bundesliga Challenge Tournament that EA have released in celebration of the Team of the Season Bundesliga being released. So, this is the team I'm going to be using. The basic requirements are full 18 players have to be Bundesliga. Is it 18? Yes, there's 7 reserves and 11 on the pitch. So 18 players all have to be from the Bundesliga and uh, that's about it. Now, you're going to have to play something along the lines of this team. If you don't know who Bates and 87 is, I will link his channel down in the description. He has made this team pretty much to the letter. There's a few changes for me in there, but it is pretty similar. It's a Bundesliga sweat team, 3-5-2, and everyone is using it. If you don't use it, you're going to be absolutely crippled because this thing is unreal. It's so good to play with, and I would definitely recommend you try building it. So let's quickly run through it. It's S. Wine, Royce, Gundogan in centre attack in mid. I've got Sherlock out at left mid. Bates and uses Elia. Then there's Blazakowski on the right mid. We've got in the CDMs Bender and Luis Gustavo. The defence is Boateng, then Naldo, Felipe Santana and Neuer. Now if you need some coins to go out and buy any of these players, go and check that link out down in the description. So that's the team. Let's start playing. There's 7,000 coins to win and a badge if we can manage to secure the win on this tournament. So, our first game is kicking into action right now. And you can see we come up against a 4-3-1-2 team. The only issue I have with it is that he's using Bad Stuber in the centre-back position. He's not a very well-chosen or regularly chosen centre-back, that's for sure, mainly because of his pace. Um, but I guess people are coming out of the woodwork, building these Bundesliga teams for the uh, tournament and aren't 100% sure on which players they should be using. Now, I dominated this guy. You saw those chances early on, really should have taken one of them. And I was absolutely... Absolutely raging when he managed to put that goal in in the uh, well just before half time. However, we came out after half time, didn't let our heads drop, and we managed to get through on goal. Nice tramp, nice goal from Royce, and uh, yeah, pretty good work from the team to get us back level. Now we got to full time, one all. It was pretty annoying that I hadn't managed to finish him off. And you can see the stats about to come up here. And as I said, I absolutely dominated. I had 23 shots. He had 5. I had 15 on target. He had 4. And it ended a 1-0 draw. And even after extra time, we had to go to a penalty shootout to separate this one. You can see that we end up going 1-0 after the first two penalties are taken. Then he managed to save one from Royce. What a joke. And I managed to save his. So we're still level after 4 penalties. So we got to get these goals in. There you go. Gundogan converts. Means we're 1 up. He has a chance to... Con equalise but Neuer manages to save it this time and we take our penalty and score it so we are currently one or two goals up and he manages to score his penalty in pretty much spectacular fashion hitting the top of the bar coming back down and into the back of the net we ended up taking the final penalty with Blazikowski and winning the penalty shootout so I was pretty happy with that didn't mind too much that we didn't you know end up winning the game outright in the uh, or from open play but uh, it was pretty good anyway we take the result down and it's a good way to get it through into the first round of the tournament so we're going into our next game and this guy is using a much more traditional Bundesliga team. You can see there he's got Royce, he's got Blazikowski, he's got Diego. He's got some very, very strong players in there. His defence is strong. He's using a 4-1-2-1-2, a great formation. But after that, we just let let loose on this guy really you know we struggled to score at all in the last game and uh, now we just couldn't stop scoring we were two goals up after 12 minutes it was already a pretty much a certain result um, <coughs> and it was even more so when S1 went through again and S1 has a fantastic finesse shot I have to say that because as we all know finesse shots don't really work on FIFA 13 they work so well on FIFA 12 but on this game they just don't work so well uh, but he doesn't seem to feel the effects of it and just scores for days. Now he came back in, he scored one with Elia, but um, it sort of went dead after that for about 50 minutes and we managed to uh, go further into lead. A nice header from Royce from the, the goalkeeper parry out really. And then he made a mistake and Royce capitalised to give us the 5-1 victory. Good work from the team and uh, yeah, pretty nice pretty nice play to be honest you know we really struggled in the last game as I said and we managed to turn it around and just completely dominate in that one so our next game is against this one and we are coming up against the 3-5-2 he's using some odd players in there but you know they are still very good ones like the likes of um, Shakiri 
Um, he is a very good player, but he doesn't get used very often. Now, we took the lead through Royce. Good work from him early on. And then we managed to go through. This is all Luis Gustavo there, just taking the ball off him um, several times. And then he passes it across. And Scherler just says, thank you very much. And pops that one into the back of the net to give us a 2-0 victory in the semi-final. So we are going to go into the final of this tournament and this was actually my first ever attempt to win this tournament. So you're seeing the very, very first time I attempted it. And we're going into the final straight off the bat. And it is against a 4-4-2. Now, I was very happy to see this. He has got some good players in there. I think that you're not going to find a bad Bundesliga team, really. But um, for a, a team that you come up against in the tournament, especially in the final, I didn't expect to see that. And we pretty much did a double hitter on him in the 55th minute and the 50, I think it's the 58th minute when we actually do manage to score. You see there, S1 scoring both. Fantastic work by S1. And uh, I was pretty pleased with his performance. S1 is an absolute beast. No wonder his price has gone slightly up. It's been elevated from discard price to around 2K, depending what formation you're looking for. I imagine 4 one 2 one 2 4 3 3 and 442 will be quite expensive. So, guys, there you go. We have managed to win the tournament. A great result. And as you can see now on screen, we do manage to take down the 7,000 coins and a Bayern Munich badge, which I swiftly discarded. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of these in the future, do drop it a like and leave a comment. But other than that, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I will see you all next time.